Is Shannon Phillips or anyone representing her in court today? Ms. Phillips, are you there? Are you Shannon Phillips, who's identified as UCC 1-308, all rights reserved? Okay, well, there's no response to the court's inquiry. It's 4.30 p.m. on, uh, on July 13th. Me? We hear you now. Are, are you Ms. Phillips? UCC 1-308, all rights reserved. I am here on a special visitation of the all caps name. Okay, seeing no response to my request, it's 4.30 p.m. The matter was scheduled for 1.30 p.m. Um, I, Agent Miller, I will sign a bench warrant upon your submission. Failure to appear. Your name? My name is capital S, lowercase h, lowercase a, lowercase n, lowercase n, lowercase o, lowercase n. Okay. Are you Shannon Phillips? I am Shannon. Okay. I'll sign the bench warrant when you issue it, Agent Miller. F feel free to send that up to my office. Well, I have for it to be dismissed with prejudice. How y'all gonna sign a bench warrant and I'm sitting right here? I told okay. y'all what my name was. Number 56, People versus Tyree oh, okay. Pitts, 21535, FH. They mad. <laughs> I'm trying to assist and prosecute on behalf of the people. I no. do not consent. Side. I no. do not consent. And I have no contact with his. Mr. Smith is charged as a misdemeanor and is punishable by 90 days in jail and thousand dollar fine. Have the right to be represented by a lawyer. And if you cannot afford a lawyer, you have the right to have one appointed for you at no expense. Did you have any question about those rights? Uh, kind of, yes. Uh, corpus delecti in this case is kind of funky, being the state of Washington. It seems to be me to be a fictitious plaintiff. In a sense, I can't subpoena a plaintiff that doesn't exist as a person. So we're going to talk about a couple things first because you're, what you're saying is gibberish. You don't even know what corpus delecti is. Corpus delecti produced the victim. No, that's not what it means. Definitions here. Here's the situation. I'm gathering that sounds to me like you might be kind of dabbling in the sovereign citizen stuff. No. Sure sounds like no. it. Here's how it works. Pay close attention. Simply because the fact there's an quote identifiable victim doesn't mean its behavior is not a crime. I might be penalized if I don't sign. I'll have you thrown in jail if you don't. Does that sound like a penalty? Okay. Don't challenge the authority of the court. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I know I'm doing it really, really well. Let me see it. Proceeding under arrest. Reprint the order. Sign the order. Just your name, nothing else. I can't. That's... Just sign the order. You're ordered to do so. If you don't, it's contempt of court. You're not under duress, but you are under court order to sign the order. MC, you're in contempt of court. Okay. Maximum penalty for contempt of court is 30 days in jail and a $500 fine. I'd sign it with my rights reserved then. And signing this does not take anything away from you, sir, as far as your rights. Why do I have to sign it then? Sir, because I just right told now. you to, because it gives you notice when your next court date is. I'm going to sign the order and I'm going to... You're going to sign your name and nothing else. Anything. My suggestion to you would be that you should probably spend some time having a brief consultation or a longer consult consultation with a lawyer. That's pretty much a waste of my time. Sit down. I purged one contempt. I don't need any editorial comment on your part that this is a waste of your time. I don't care if you, you can believe it. And outside this court, you can say anything you want. You can tell everybody I'm the devil. I don't care. You have a right to speak. Don't, don't say a word. But inside this court, you're going to show respect for the court. That means when you're directed to do something in the court, you're going to do it. You're free to leave. Okay. Thank you, Your Honor.